What's going on, y'all? Broadcasting live from Fort Worth, Texas. This is Creighton Wallace, and as you all know, I just be thinking, dog. I just be thinking, dog. I just be thinking, dog. I'm smoking. I want to give a shout out. A better yet, say rest in peace to my homeboy Adonis Walker. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a good friend of his family's. I've been knowing Adonis since I was 12 years old. Got some sad news this past Monday, which was March the third. Uh, as I was actually on my way back from Louisiana, coming to uh to 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 Dallas, um, his cousin, a lifetime friend of mine, Orlando Green, called me and let me know that he and his girlfriend, Hannah Hawkins, had died in a house fire. Uh, Adonis was only 35 years old. I'm not sure. I think Hannah was about 32 years old. Uh, I did a little bit of research. Uh, I went online to the local newspaper, and at this time, uh, they don't they they haven't determined the cause of the fire. Uh, it's believed to be an electrical fire. So I just want to say, uh, rest in peace to a, to Adonis Walker, A.K.A. Hoghead. Uh, I want to send my condolences out to the Walker family, uh, to the Hawkins family, to the Green family, to the Dillard family, and uh, to the Robinson family. Moving on, my man Marshall Eddie Conway. And if you don't know who Marshall Eddie Conway is, Marshall Eddie Conway was the head of the Baltimore division of the Black Panthers back in the 60s. He just got out of jail on March the 4th. He, uh, he was falsely in prison. He was, uh, you know, dealt the raw deal. One of the many political prisoners uh, that came out of the Black Panther Party. Those who, those, the ones that they didn't kill or mess up on drugs uh, so I want to say welcome home Marshall Eddie Conway and acknowledge you and uh, I'm really hoping from the from the little research that I did that you can prove that it was a mistrial and and sue Baltimore for millions so that you can live the rest of your days out comfortable out here in America also released this week Lil Boosie of Baton Rouge, Louisiana the pride and joy of the south side of Baton Rouge, Louisiana was released after over four years, if I'm not mistaken, in prison, he was uh, actually first in prison in uh, 2009 for marijuana charges. I want to say welcome home, Lil Boosie. Um, I'm a big fan, and I'm, I'm, I, I look forward to seeing the moves you're going to make. I know you got some moves you're going to make. I heard a rumor word on the streets that you're supposed to be moving to, uh, or at least considering moving to DFW so you can stop being harassed like you are down in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. But like I said, that's just rumor, that's just word on the street, so I'm not sure. I want to give a big middle finger salute to the Louisiana injustice system. How the hell you put somebody in fucking Angola for a marijuana charge? Angola is one of the most violent, dangerous prisons in the world and you put somebody there for there with the killers and gorillas for a marijuana charge. Louisiana injustice system. I want to say personally, kiss my black ass. Uh, that's all we got for today. Make sure you guys hit me up on my Facebook page. Uh, I'm sorry. Make sure you guys like my Facebook fan page. It's Craven Wallace DFW. Hit me up also on Twitter at capital C small W underscore three one eight, and uh, hit me up on my YouTube page at C Wallace three one eight, and let me know what you be thinking, dog. Peace. I just be thinking, dog. I just be thinking, dog. You better stay up on your grind. I just be thinking, dog. I just be thinking, dog. Republican Party Klansmen, please feel this. It's a shame how racist this fucking country still is. Barack had death threats before he even ran. Cause all they saw was a nigga, they ain't even see a man. Criticize, mock, disrespect for silly shit. I heard he liked Jay Z. What else? And Newport cigarettes.